Um, test anything here? We now need to hook up this to the power tube. I'll have to look at which pin that goes to on the power tube and we'll get that really quickly. Alright. Pin three. Alright, so on pin three of the power tube, we hook that blue wire. So that would be See where the notch is. One, two, three. Oh, okay, so so that one will come over here, cut it about right here. Alright. Where's the snips? I'm gonna cut that right there. You go, you, yeah, you gotta not to go too deep because inside of the middle is a little uh, shallow hole that doesn't cut. And then strippers. Where are they? Down at the gentleman's club, I think. Oh, oh, oh so funny. <laughs> All right. I can't see very well, but I think that's in there. Short almost to barely get into there, but we're in there now. Okay, go ahead and solder that in. So now, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we need to do or if we're ready to, oh, let's go ahead and, um, I was debating on this one, I think. So we can definitely wire this up now. Is it gonna get hard, pretty hard to put the board in? I think what I was trying to avoid is the board being a problem, but um, basically we could, Kind of go like this for now, maybe. All right, let's see if we can get the board in now. And let's, let's do a quick double check. We've got everything wired, but those grounds and that power that goes to the board. So, yeah, I think let's get the board in. So we're gonna go off camera for a minute to get it out of the way because we're gonna have to fight getting the screws down over the standoffs and into the nuts. You guys get the idea. In fact, I can kind of show you on camera quickly. Effectively, we have to get these nuts. So we have to put the, the turret board goes in between here, and then this goes through the metal chassis, and then we have to get that on the nut. So this, it's always tricky is getting that to stay still for you while you drop the you know that through. So we're gonna go through that, but instead of wasting it on camera, you'll see it when it's done. All right, so now we're going to, we've, uh, we kind of pulled this guy back out of the way for a minute because we need to get in and get these grounds and spaces a bit of a premium in here now. So we're going to, if you can see right here, we're getting this main ground. She's going to solder it, then we're going to connect that down to this side of the transformer. Then these two and the main power ground will put just to the other side of the transformer as well. So we're going to go through that process now. And I've already that crimped that, so that's just soldering in the crimp. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So now what we have to do is quickly get the screwdriver down on the bottom of that nut on this side. Mm -hmm. Screwdriver, where did you go? There you are. Uh, where is it? That's a oh. Actually, I can do a screwdriver too. Ouch, I just burned myself on. I forgot that these are That's the just attached to the transformer, transformer. bottom end. Okay, it's loose. I can't get my fingers in there, but I think you will be able to. So we're just gonna get that one loose now. Be careful, that's hot. All right, 
good and tight. Now, we need to repeat this process with these guys, like I said. So, what we want to do, I got to kind of get this guy out of the way for a minute. This is the power side. I'll just move it. I'm sorry, I need to let you do more of this. I'm kind of no, taking over. Good. My leg's cramping again, so I'm going to sit for a second. All right, well, let's just take a break now. So, today we've taken another break here. It was kind of, a, we mentioned we were getting this down in. So you can see a lot of the loose wires we need to connect. We still have to connect the triode up here, the output transformer, the power outputs up here, and the, um, I think this one, if I remember, also comes over there. And uh, then this goes to the volume. These are the two grounds. This ground, sorry, this is a ground. Now one thing we did really quickly is the power output from this rectifier tube comes over to a wire here, and we're gonna connect that in down here as well. So she's gonna go through that process. That's gonna give the main power from the rectifier, rectifier, <laughs> rectifier, in through this capacitor and whatnot, and into this guy up here. The other way it gets it is by the, um, we also have wired directly to the mains power, the other end of the um, output transformer. So it'll come straight off the rectifier tube. Um, so there we have it. So go ahead. She's got the, the heating up right now. All right, so I guess I'm gonna cut these two, connect them together and then connect it to this third ground and then connect them in there. Yep, that's correct. So she's just gonna try and cut that roughly where she thinks she needs it to be able to get it in. All right, so now we just need to strip back both of these but we're going to strip the green wire which is the six volt center tap a little longer than the other ones because i want to have some room to wire those other two to it and then we'll just get a small amount of this guy and then we'll also need to get that other ground where to go right there all right there you go so good like a, like i mentioned just first twist that one around good then connect the other two into it and we'll solder those together. Once that's done soldered, we'll put the end on it and crimp it and then re-solder that as well and tie it back down. I'm trying to see where the... If I understand correctly, I'm going to connect this red one to the green one. Mm -hmm. And the black one to the green one as well. And the black one to the green one and then we're going to solder them together. Mm -hmm. Maybe I need to cut the red one shorter because it's a bit longer for mm -hmm. some reason when it came in. All right, so let me do this. I will strip a little bit more. All right. Is that enough or is it still a bit more stripped? Um, probably more and then just cut it shorter. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep, that looks good to me. So now we'll want to put this on, and since I took, I have to go ahead and print this a little bit easier. Oh wait, before we want to do that, we were going to actually try to line these guys together into a nice um, sheathing a little bit over that, so we cover most of it with Can some. You cut that piece that's sticking out then. Uh, yeah, that little teeny bit. Yeah, sure. Let's get some shrink wrap on that end. Nice big piece. Looks like I melted the wire a little bit and I accident somehow. I as long as it's I've not bare, it, you're I've okay. It down there. Hmm. All right, so I'm just going to cut off a piece about that big. All right. And I'll let you go do it. Just go ahead and slide that down about as far as you can go, will you? So it'll still expose the and. wire that we're going to want to solder down. Just kind of pinch them all together as best you can. All right, and then, good. yep, go ahead and shrink wrap that together. All 
Yeah, you're gonna get burned now, right? That'll be a little loose at the end, that's okay. I just wanted to kind of cover. All right. The end piece ago, I just had it. Uh, I don't know. There it is. Okay. Squish a little bit with some pliers or something. Oh. I can't see. It's kind of. Looks like that end is just splayed out a teeny bit. Now go ahead and fill that in with solder. I'm ready to attach it. So again, that is the main power uh, tube ground connected to the heater ground and the center tap of the main power transformer. The secondary side. about that. Right tool for the job, right? Right Sherlock and Mallory, the right tool for the job. Makes all the difference. Sometimes. Sometimes some of the tools work like this is working, but it's a pain in the ass. These guys. Okay. This might be it. Nope. Oh yeah, maybe it was. Nope. I think I basically got it. But... I think that's it. All right. All right. You got your. It is. It's just over here. Again, we're talking about the right tool for the job, right? Yep. All right. Next thing we want to connect is this power line here that we've already kind of pre-measured and stripped. Yeah, there's not a problem with these touching, right? Nope. Nope. They're shielded, so they can touch anything interior, and they're fine. It looks like I missed cutting a piece there. Okay. Off. Well, go ahead and snip it then. No, no better time than the present. All right, so as soon as you can get that wire wound, wound around that and we solder that, we can then kind of put that light bulb back in again. So, am too. I trying to touch both of them? Nope, they're or? connected. So That's it what the turret matter? does. Nope. The turret connects the resistor and the capacitor together. So, this is one of those things that um, I might not have explained well in general to people on, these channel, on this channel, but also to her. The continuity tester says is there a wire connecting these two points together? Meaning there's no resistance, no capacitance, it's just a straight wire. Now, a turret's job is to join multiple things together. You'll sometimes have resistors, capacitors, or sometimes it's a jumper wire between two locations. But that wire doesn't have any real inherent resistance in it in most situations. There still is, that's why it, it, it can heat up and whatnot. But the resistance is extremely low. And so current flows through those wires really fast and easily compared to with a resistor in line or a capacitor which blocks certain things like DC. Um, but... So that's why it can be a little confusing, but when you see a capacitor into a turret and a resistor into a turret, those are both connected to the same physical location. And they can have electricity flow between those two places freely. Come on, bitches. Um, are you just trying to wrap it around the turret? or? Yeah. Is that bad? Nope, that's exactly what you want to do is just wrap it around the turret. Oh, oh the you're turret? wrapping around the yeah, you're wrapping around that post. Someone might need to come and remove that later. That's what the turret is a good place to tie things together. Oh, that's what I was asking. Where do I 
I, I thought you asked me if you wanted to wrap it around the turret, and I thought no. I said yes. It doesn't matter which too. one of these that I, I was talking about, the actual. The leg of the capacitor. Legs, yeah. yeah. For the amp to work, it does not matter, but for later maintenance, it becomes trickier if you leave things bounded together like that. I got it wrapped around good, just wrapped around the wrong thing. And you really only need to get not even a full, like a three quarters turn is usually enough. It's just got to have some physical contact with the turret. And then we can trim any excess wire. And especially with this being the high voltage rail, you don't want too much of the wire exposed. So. All right, I've got a full circle around it. All right, so go ahead and get in there and solder it now, oh and then God. we'll just trim off that wire after you're done. You should be able to come in at an angle like this. I'll show you. Take this, your soldering iron, and just put it right there. Right. And put the solder in from the opposite side. Right. Okay? You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, my name is Mud. Come on. You might not have quite enough wet on the tip. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. We want this to go not on the center hole but on the side so that we get down in there. That looks like it's going in there. And this to me is probably the hardest part about working in these kinds of chassis is just how tight the chassis is. Um, I would prefer having a wider open chassis myself, but this is classic for this little champ. It's a tiny little amp, eight inch speaker, etc. So all right. That looks good. You got a nice blob around that. So now you can just snip off that extra wire, get that out of there. In fact, what I'll do is I'll use the pliers to hold onto the other end so that I'll be ready to grab it. Oh, never mind. What? It might go flying if I don't hold on that. So I was going to grab it first. Still got okay. some in there. That's fine. Just snip that. That should be good enough. Okay, cool. That no, that's fine. Way. It's just we don't want it to be able to get close to the other wires, and that's so close to that turret, you're fine. All right. All right, so now we can start wiring other things. So I think at this point we can put this guy back in place. You sure? Yep. Did you need to wire anything else here? I don't know. You tell me. Nope. We just need to wire the. We're going to take the output from this into the volume, and then the center of the volume goes to the next stage. I'm going to look and see what that is, actually. Oh, that goes... Okay, so there's another thing that we need to do that we didn't do. Mallory, look out. I forgot that the center of volume, you want to go underneath this guy and connect into the other half of this triode. Since we didn't do that, we'll just probably see if we can feed that wire under carefully under the so bottom. this is supposed to go underneath? No, no. This just goes to here. But the other half of this comes back to the side of the triad. So we can do one of two things. We can either just run the wire straight across. Nope. Which is not the preferred way. Or we can run it underneath. We'll just have to try and carefully We'll get... have to just feed it under the board. Yeah, that's what, I was, that's what I'm saying. That's the other option, and that would be the better way of doing it. So we just need to get another shielded wire, piece of shielded wire. So is it. there some sort of way you can make instruction of order in advance when you're doing something like this as to not have that problem? I have the order roughly in my head, but my frustration I was facing with the physical constraints here mm -hmm. led me to do quite a few simple mistakes that make things a little bit more painful. I see. So it's not, wasn't very smart of me the way I did some of these things because um, I was just getting frustrated with fighting things like relief, strain relief input or, you know, mm -hmm. getting the drilled holes perfect, etc. So. 